Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow Irishman Jason Doyle out to Poland on a wild boar hunt with Norma. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. We joined the team from Norma ahead of a two day hunt in Poland. We'll be testing their tip strike ammo, but first we'll test our own abilities on the range. <laughs> Having checked the zero on his Merkel Helix, Jason gets in some practice on a running bar target. The hunt begins before dawn the next day. A detailed briefing gets us going, along with a horn serenade giving the hunt a traditional Polish touch. The calves and hinds no limits. All the wild boars. Strzelamy lisa, borsówka możemy strzelać, jenota możemy strzelać. Hawks, badger and jenot. Well, we've just arrived at the start of this Norma hunt in Poland. And um, I've just been dropped off at this beautiful area here. Nice open area in front of me. Today we're shooting red deer, hinds and calves, all wild boar and roe does and calves. So really exciting. It's a different type of driven hunt than I'm used to. We're going to be doing lots of really short drives, so we're going to be fast moving and hoping to get between 6 and 12 drives done today depending on how successful we are. And I'm self-filming today as well so bear with me, I'll try to get something on film but with moving targets it's, it's going to be pretty tricky. There's lots of early action but so far it's going to the other guns. After another couple of blank drives we catch up with Jason again. This time he's in a high seat in a promising area. Well, this is sort of the, the first drive where I've had a real good field of view. You can probably see 60, 70 yards all around. A lot of cover, a lot of small trees, so placing a shot is going to be difficult. Um, but yeah, a couple of shots on the last drive by the other guns, but the game has been pretty scarce so far. So hopefully, this will be our chance to just be our chance to see something. Uh, my neighbouring gun, John Snow from America, he shot a raccoon dog on the last drive. And it's the first time I've ever seen one. I didn't even know what it was. Um, so that was great to see. And um, yeah, fingers crossed I get something this time.
It's the same story here. We hear some shots from other members of the team, but no chance for Jason. After a quick lunch break, we're back out again on what resembles an English pheasant drive, with the guns positioned around the woodland. With plenty of fresh sign, things are looking good, and it's not long before a boar breaks cover with a hound hot on its tail. Well, what a drive that was. It just all took off there for five or six minutes. Had this group broke out below me. And um, I took a, a, a young pig. I was waiting for them to sort of separate, single out. But yeah, really, really exciting. Um, really happy with the with the Merkel and the, the aim point, even on the, these longer range shots. Um, just really easy to place the shot. With the day over, we pay respects to the fallen game and crown the King of the Hunt. It's Jon Snow, not from Game of Thrones, but from Outdoor Life magazine in the US. So we're out day two of our normal hunt here in Poland and um, we're in a different hunting area today and I've just been dropped at the first drive um, quite a nice wood I have a house on a road to my left so I need to be really careful where I'm shooting and um, I have neighbours further down the track I'm, um, I'm changing ammunition this morning I'm going on to the Norma tip strike for the 3006 which is a bullet I'm really keen to use it's a rapidly expanding plastic tip bullet which I think will be really suitable for UK market and um, yeah hopefully we can we can get something on the deck I was quite impressed yesterday with the eco strike bullets the lead free bullets and, and how they killed um, everybody was using them and, and saw some really good boar killed so yeah fingers crossed hopefully to, today will be as good as yesterday We spot a red stag through the trees. These are on the quarry list if a hunter wants a trophy, but this one is safe enough. Seconds later a young boar comes sneaking past Jason's post. We pick him up on the bottom left of the screen just in time for the shot. Well that was a good little drive for me. Um, Mine was the only shot all drive, but saw a red stag come through about 100 yards away right at the start. Couldn't get a great look at him, but <clears throat> real nice to see him. And I just copped out a corner of my eye, a little bit of movement down to my right. And it was a small wild boar running through the trees. And I just led him across the lane and he just stopped and presented a perfect broadside shot, which is really rare under these circumstances. But the beaters and dogs were a long way away, so he was just sneaking through the forest. And yeah, he went straight down on the spot never moved. So yeah, really good start. But there were animals that went up so far. So good, it's not a bad start. So we've just come to the next drive and we're stood right in the middle of this maze field. So whatever happens here is going to be fast and pretty frantic. And being real conscious of safety, but we're going to have to be pretty close to shoot here. And we won't be able to see them until they break cover. And then we've got literally 10 yards to shoot them in, so um, if I can get something on film I will, but it's probably going to be 
pretty tricky here. Jason does manage to get this bar on film, but he was looking the wrong way and got no chance of a shot. Luckily, more bar follow the same route. A sow emerges and comes within a safe shooting angle just as they reach the edge of the clearing. It's got youngsters following, which emerged after Jason had already drawn a bead. He'd prefer to shoot lone bar if possible. Minutes later, a sow crosses the clearing, and this one is definitely on her own. Jason stops her in her tracks with his first shot, but he isn't confident of the placement, so follows up with a second. Well, that was absolutely insane. <laughs> Without a doubt, the most exciting few minutes of my hunting career so far. It was just boar coming everywhere from this corn, and um, I found myself always looking the wrong way. You literally had a second before they got across. They were hitting this track at full speed and probably five or six that I just saw the back have got away and then there was a, a small group crossed 50 yards down and I managed two shots and both of them felt really good so hopefully both of them are there I shot just as they reached the corn and I didn't see any reaction just with the recoil from the rifle and um, then another big boar came out closer probably 25 30 yards and I got a shot into that one and it was still moving slightly so I just put a follow-up shot Saw, saw a fox, saw a roe deer come out right under my feet, saw a raccoon dog cross a bit further down. It was just insane, like 10 minutes of just so exciting. And um, yeah, I just wish this track was 10 yards wider, but um, absolutely incredible sport. So, so exciting. We go to retrieve the shot bow and find two dead where they fell and one five yards into the corn. <laughs> that brings to an end a fantastic two days with Norma and Ruag. We again enjoy the traditional end to the hunt and crown our king for the day, who just happens to be our cameraman. Jason. Jason. And the king for the day is Jason. What a fantastic couple of days it's been just really enjoyed seeing this traditional Polish hunt and the guys from Norma have looked after so well and just been a fantastic experience. Well that's King Jason there living the dream and now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The government has launched its new environmental policy and shooting could play a big part in it. After Michael Gove unveiled the Tories' 25-year plan for the British countryside, Masks said shooting could help the government deliver it. After all, shooting is involved in the management of two-thirds of the UK's rural land area. Basque's Ian Danby said the role of shooting in environmental conservation is going to be increasingly important over the next 25 years. There's been a licensing for all after comments a Lincolnshire police officer made on Countryfile. They said they would allow GPs to extract money from licensed applicants to produce a medical report, something that contravenes guidelines issued by the Home Office. Shooting organisations have taken up the cudgels. Basque said this is an issue throughout the country, not just in Lincolnshire, while the Countryside Alliance said this was a fundamental flaw that is threatening to collapse the medical procedures associated with firearms licensing. Don't forget to check out the new general licences for 2018. Renewed on New Year's Day, the licences allow the taking of pest bird species by any landowner or occupier for the purpose of preserving public health or safety. Crows, doves, magpies, pigeons, rooks, jackdaws and jays are all still on the list. You can download the general licences for England, Wales and Scotland from the various government websites. And finally, it's now just a month until the British Shooting Show. The UK's biggest indoor shooting event comes to the NEC this year and is set to grow by around a third from last year, with more exhibitors bringing bigger stands and new product launches. Browning, Beretta, Zolli, Cesar Guarini, Blaser, Seiko, Ruger, Remington and Swarovski will all be there. 
and we'll see you there too, either roaming the aisles looking for footage or on the future publishing stand with sporting rifle and clay shooting. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. Sure.